all right what is up youtube but now this is the updated build like i said i was going to add more um of the eidolon beast in the extra deck and so only thing i really took out i believe was an omega and i've uh took out one, one of these because he had two of them i took out one of these to put in the um the wind and the light now i do want to put the dark but i don't think the dark is i, I mean i the dark has a good effect but and it's not really that good when you're not really focused on the dark's effect so that's the only one I decided not to put in. Um, if uh, I guess I would say seventy percent because of the effect and thirty percent because I literally don't want to take none of the other synchros out. But hopefully today we'll get to the Eidolon part of the uh, of the deck. We did not really get to see it too much because you know we couldn't really um, not we didn't really draw it that much. I would say. And also, when we did draw, there really wasn't, you know, uh, we couldn't banish anything from our opponents or, you know, going into one of these cards would not be the best. What is this, a level 7? Oh, shit. Okay, we need a 1 star in here. But, uh, yeah, going into the level 7, I mean, going into this was not, you know, what, I mean, it just wouldn't prove anything. Um, it was obviously a better zombie play. But, hopefully, um, we can definitely get into, uh, that was one man, 20 seconds. I was clicking on it because, uh, yeah, I didn't want to really do too much talking. Uh, but yeah, so uh, hopefully, uh, let's just put that over to the side right there. Um, yeah, so hopefully we do get some more um, duels today. Hopefully we can get some good duels, future and Eidolon zombies. You know, we want to, and it's not, you know, we don't want to just make it a pure zombie, you know, video and stuff like that because it'd be like, what's the point of the Eidolon? So hopefully we do get to see this card more and we can get more interaction. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, uh, let's get into the duels. But before we get into the duels, I would like to say if you guys do enjoy the video, definitely leave a like. Uh, let me know what you think about the video by leaving a comment and also subscribe if you have not. I upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1 p.m. on the dot. So you guys get three videos a day. So that should be good um, and whatnot. And also, if you guys can, click add to help support the channel, which would be very helpful. So without further ado, let's get straight into the duel. Alrighty, so we're starting off the first duel with a loss on the rock, paper, scissors. And let's see what he lets us do. Does he let us go first or does he let us go second? It looks like we're going second and we have opened up a decent hand, I would suppose. It's very decent. I mean, we have mass destruction, which I really think is going to be good for not not just, you know, just in in general. I think this format, mass destruction, that, there we go. That's what we needed to see. So we're not going to use that right now. We're going to hold off. We're only going to set one. Because uh, we do not want to get our shit, you know, wrecked up and decked up. Uh, but don't know what I'm saying. But we do not want our shit to get twin twisted away. But, um, like I was saying about Regeki, dark mass removal is going to be very, very, very good. It's going to be very good, this format. Especially with all these tree toad. Um, all these goddamn tree toad. Uh... All these, like, all these decks that are just trying to spam the board and that's trying to beat you like on like just trying to lock you out of the game like the uh, metal foes their combos a the little bit thrillium combos and stuff like that they're trying to really lock you out of the game and we don't play the water one do we do we do we no we don't play the water one wow that is this is just this, this is just they're just doing this on purpose I see uh Oh wait, we can read. No, they're all water, huh? No, that's a light. Okay, there we go. Well, we can use that. So that's that's pretty good. So you know what we're going to do? I wish this was a zombie. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to normal summon. Oh wait a minute. You know what? It's not even good to go to light one right now. What we can do is just do this, right? And we can go into the fire one because the fire one does piercing. And it attacks all my opponent's monsters. And then we can trigger this. Um, let's just do this right now. Uh, we can get this straight back. So that's always what's in there. What do you do? Okay, well, let's just thin the deck out some more. Um, don't need to. Oh, wow. We can do that, huh? We can do that, huh? What does this say? Is this once per turn? This is not once per turn. We can do that. We can pump him up. Don't need to do all that extra stuff. But we can pump him up. And what he's going to do is definitely just put in some massive amount of damage. Um, we can probably actually... You know what? We can do both, can't we? We can do both. Yes, we can. And that's going to do 45 in that game. 
Um, I don't know why I was holding on, but I forgot that this is uh this is uh this just adds one of those back. So I mean, you could just put him in a graveyard and just use this. Um, that was that was cool. Did not expect that. Did not expect a marshmallow on uh what is it called marsh ma marsh macaron, um, uh, in a uh a dark, a dark magician girl deck. So uh, yeah, uh, let's get into it. All right, so here we go with the second duel, and we're going against uh, Cameron Lord. I'm, I'm surprised. To, oh, I, I'm guessing. Wow, this is awful. So what we're going to do? We're just going to thin it out because we do not want the. Uh, don't want to just draw that, and this would be pretty much dead. So we can already normal summon. I mean, already, this is already starting out to be a, a better representation of the deck than the last video because we did uh, actually get an Eidolon play going that comboed with the Shirinus. <laughs> I mean, it really wasn't that big of a play. But, you know, it is better than uh, last week. We really didn't have any type of interaction with the deck. All right, so Crystal Beast, you're getting... I uh, just fuck it. Let's just bomb this. Let's not even give you a chance to play. This is how we're supposed to do it. But yeah, I was talking about like torrential tribute and cards like that. They're just going to be good. This is just. Oh man, see, like this is what Dev Pro does sometimes. They will do this to you, and there's just nothing you can do about it. Um, I believe he doesn't play rank four, so there's no reason really to summon the second Alistar. Um, Alistair, never mind. Uh, uh, there's no reason to summon the second one aside for some damage. Um, yeah, so it looks like this is pretty much all the uh, Eidolons in the hand um, besides the Nether. Well, okay, let's. Well, we're playing against. Uh, fuck it, let's forget you. We, we never mind. Oh, there, there it goes. It has the water. But we don't play the water because that is the. Do they even have a water? Or unless I just didn't put it in there. I don't know what the fuck is going on. I don't know why he didn't attach it. Oh. Okay, well, that answered my question. Uh, but yeah, mass destruction should be okay. Well, we're going to just get alrighty. So we you know got monster reborn and we had to quit. All right, so it looks like we're going to go up against a good deck. What? Nope, never mind. He only has thirteen extra. So only thing I can assume is that he forgot. Now what we're going to do is definitely set this and set this um, because we don't want to give our opponent any type of advantage on what we're playing. So we don't want to activate this immediately because then you'd be like, okay, well, he's playing Eidolons and he's not going to set any cards, use any cards or stuff like that. But <clears throat> anyways, back to my point. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, back to my point. Uh, mass Destruction is going to be good this one. I believe so. I believe um, because there's a lot of decks. I'm just trying to get this point across before, you know, something happens where I can't even... I mean, where I got to change the video, go to a different door or something. Um, like I said, uh, with, uh, what do you call them? Uh, metal foes. Uh, with metal foes, um, like there, there's Dark Lords that's coming out. That's pretty good. Well, I can just set that. Um, wait a minute. We don't play the Dark One. Jesus Christ. Fuck. Well, you know what? We're going to just set this. I want to set this. Um, uh, he just, I mean, he. we know he has my, actually, we could have probably just went for game just there. Probably could have. We probably could have, but you know, this is just a great card. So we're going to just set on that. And we can just game him now. So, and we can get rid of all his back row. But yeah, uh, there's metal foes that are trying to just put out a big board and chain the combat, uh, the chains of fusions. And keep special summon. So if you got something like Regeki, just wipes their board off. Darko wipes their board off. Lightning Vortex, if you do play that, wipes their board. Um, there's also, there's uh, there's still the Tazoken builds of certain decks that just trying to put Crystal Wing and all these other cards. Bam, you can Darko get rid of that. There's the Zodiac Beasts that are coming out. Junishis. Uh, Junishi Shees, if that's how you say it. Um, those are coming out. Darko, Regeki, get rid of their whole board. None of that shit even matters. Uh, yeah, the, wow, okay, Gorilla Jeff, Gorilla Jeff, thanks a lot. But yeah, like I was saying, uh, there's a lot of decks that are just trying to spam first turn boards, uh, Dark Lord, oh, fuck, this is horrible. Um, well, we can do that, okay, I guess that's cool. I guess that's really cool, actually, it's really cool. Um, we can do Vam. 
Oops. Uh, banish you. Double gold shark for you. But uh, what else? What is another deck? Um, I mean, BAs aren't really a deck. Like, I mean, it's not. It's still a deck, but a lot of people don't play. Where, where I'm from, um, out in uh, United States, we don't really play BAs anymore. I mean, I guess guess I'm from Anaheim. We don't. Play those cards anymore we can't shuffle for some odd reason now we can go into the two star right now and put this just immediately back on my hand but um no we're not going to do that because we do want the two star in the graveyard and then we can also go into the wind one um yeah we can just do a whole bunch of different shit so hopefully the solid strike can protect us but uh what is another deck? like tree toad like the paleozoic deck like if they bring all their traps out um Let's just hold S because we don't want him to know that we have that down there. Now, if this is going to be a Shadow Miss, we're probably going to be in trouble. No, it is a Minerva Light Sworn deck. And if I'm not mistaken, uh, I believe it has to be on the field and destroyed. I hope so because I'm going to be very pissed off. This can summon a Herrera card. But then you can't spell. Okay, so that's why a lot of people don't use that effect. All right, so it should be Minerva. No, it's that. But then that's happening. But uh, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Paleozoics. Like if you read Geki, when they have their traps out, they just pretty much lose. all that shit gets banished. Like Twin Twister, a whole bunch of just. I'm just saying, man. This is just really good to go mass destruction. And he has the Earth, so we can do. The, oops, don't want to do that. Don't want to re reveal that you have that in your graveyard. Um. Vanity's emptiness. This is not once per turn, is it? Oh, solemn warning. Okay, well, that's gonna suck for you, sir. Uh, oh, we can't do that, huh? We can do this, and he's probably gonna quit because this is game. Uh, we're gonna go. This, oh, he's three thousand. Shit. Oh, is he gonna quit? He's gonna quit. I believe he's gonna quit. That, yeah, that's game, huh? Yeah, that is game. So we're gonna just attack with this, and then we're nope. Come on, and then we're gonna attack with this. Nope, and then we're gonna calculate some damage, and then we're gonna put this on. Bam. That's game. So yeah, uh, another door. Oh god. All right, but yeah, man, the Paleozoic deck, which is a, I guess, a, I, I guess would say, um, it was a surprising thing at Anaheim, and I think that's why it did all it did do, is because of the surprise factor. Now, do I think that deck is going to be one of the top decks in the near future? I don't think so. I don't think it can sustain being the top deck because it is a heavy trap deck, and it loses to a lot of stuff. Like, if you chain to one of the traps, they can't activate. If you Twin Twister, like, if you get Twin Twister early on, and you, like, you, you, you like, they don't, they, it just, it, that, that's it. I mean, because if I can hit all your back row, you can't chain, you can't, you don't have anything in the graveyard. And if I do, like, if you activate a certain card, and I Twin Twister the other two, that's three cards on your board gone. Now, unless you have Regeki, I mean, Reckless Greed, or the one, that, other one that draws, which is six cards out of 40 cards, I understand Twin Twister is three out of 40. But if you do, that's the only way you can keep going. And if Reckless Greed, you activate, you can't draw for two turns. I think the deck just really had a surprise factor, even though they do have Potted Desires and stuff like that. I just think the deck just was a real... So what do you do? Do you search? No, I don't care about that. Um, but yeah, I just think that the whole... I think the whole deck was just a big surprise factor. I do not think it's going to sustain being a top... A tier 1 deck. Now, tier... Uh, 1.5 probably. It's, it's going to be definitely a deck people do play, but I don't think it's going to be a, a, a real great deck. And then um, also with uh, what the fuck? Ooh, that would have been good. That would have been really good if I didn't have this D prison. That would have been really good. Thank you. Thank you for this D prison. Ooh, get out of here. Don't got to deal with you anymore. And then this Eidolon is just going to be Pretty good. What, what do you do? Um, okay. What do you do? You can't tribute. There we go with the Twin Twisters again. So, we can just do this ourselves.
Get a dark magic, or I mean, a reckless magic circle. It's pretty much a rota. Yes, we do. Do want to add this. What does it say? Um, when an Earth type you control a battle, but your opponent is done, should we return that to the opponent's hand? So that's going to work in our favor. That's really going to work in our favor. Don't need to chain. Definitely just do this. Bam. Let me just banish this beta. Then we're going to activate this. Wait a minute, what does it say? Um, if you activate a card that includes effect, it fusion summons a monster. If an activation cannot be negated, um, also, your opponent can activate cards or effect when a monster is fusion summoned. So, I'm guessing it's not for the whole turn. You, if he's tribute, I'm not going to attack. I'm not going to attack it. Uh, he should be getting the other level four, the one that sends the. No, he goes beta. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to end our turn. No, we don't want to attack because we don't want to lose our monster. Uh, we're going to set this young man named Twin Twister. Uh, yeah. But yeah, that, back to my Paleozoic thoughts. Um, <sighs> I really think it was just a big surprise factor. I don't think it's going to do anything. Um, tree toads are like at I don't know how much. Okay, well this is not gonna keep going on. This is just not. This is just not gonna work. This is not gonna work for me personally. This is just not gonna work for me. Uh, gonna have to get rid of that. Probably should have did that the first time. I would have saved all of uh, what's gonna happen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold S until we see these two numbers disappear. Uh, because the, I don't know, what, what is the one he searched? Okay. Oh, arc. All right, that gets striked. Bam. That gets stroking. Like a good fella. And he's going to go Garganic Guardian. God damn it. Uh, well, I don't think I can, I don't even have a, oh, wait. No, this just searches, huh? Okay, that's cool. That doesn't do anything too uh, good. Ooh, and we draw on a sage. That is really good. Uh, let's go ahead and put on S. Hmm. Oh, okay. I know what we're really going to do. Uh, so we can just force this out. Let's get a couple. Oh, no. Messing up again. We have messed up, folks. We could have easily got 13 in. Easily could have got 13 in. That was a problem with me. That was my fault. Now, we could go Omega. But is Omega the better option? I don't think it is. To be honest with you, I do not think it is. I really don't think Omega is the better option. Um, so we're going to go Shogun Saga. Because we do... Hmm. I don't know if we want... Oh, hold on, no, no, no. We're going to go Omega. We're definitely going to go Omega. We're going to force him to do some shit. That's what we're going to do. We're going to force him to do some real shit. We can just definitely do this and get you out. Go to the yellow Omega. Yes, we do want to use the effect, but no, we don't want to use that effect. We're going to search the trap. We're going to use this to bring back you. We summon you in attack mode. Then we're going to proceed to end our turn. Uh, and then we're going to get uh, get on with this duel. Uh, but yeah, man, the Pele Exotic deck, like I said, man. I don't know why I keep trying to repeat it, but yeah, man. I think it's just a flash and pan deck. I don't think it's going to be that good. Um, it's too fragile. To me, totally awesome for like 60 now. At the recording of this video, Fusion Conscription, do not care. Um... But yeah, man, it's just, I don't know, man. If they're 60, I would not advise doing that. I think they're going to drop highly. Um, what do you do? So you know what's going to really suck? 
is really going to suck. Well, wait a minute. Oh, if I activate a card, okay. And I can do about that. Uh, he he searched another one, so it makes me believe that oh, he does not even have it. And we have drawn this, which means that this game is over. Let's get you out. And this game is over because of the, because of the, um, no, oh, I thought I was about to fuck up. Um, this game is completely over. What we're going to do is just want to normal summon this, right? I'm going to activate the effect to get the fusion. And the fusion is just, it's really good because now we go into the fire one, which can attack literally every monster he owns, which is good. And we have this, so that means that we can definitely get away with, um, with uh, using this with in conjunction with this uh, we could go this what do you do oh can just banish all all you wait let me see banish that monster and if you do banish all monster your opponent controls the same attribute now I can do that or we, you know we're gonna, we're gonna keep it simple we're gonna use our zombies uh, we're gonna definitely banish sage uh, he's not gonna survive this he might survive so yeah, this is the one we do want to banish. Okay, and I'm gonna activate you. I'm gonna put this back in the hand. There's just nothing he can do. This is just a master class. This is what this is. It's just a, a master class. These Eidolons are just really unfair. And if he switches to defense, I can literally just discard it. Probably should banish that. Okay, I don't care about that, sir. How much defense do you have? That's what I want to know. No. Yes, I do want to continue my battle. Hit you with that. Let's hold the S button. Hit you with that. And this is game. That's what, uh, this is, uh, it was 400 more than, uh, needed. And then we're going to attack, right? And then we're going to calculate some damage. This is really unfair. This is entire. This is really unfair. That is, that is a good combo. And look, everything is working pretty good. We got a little bit of combos going and all that extra garbage and nonsense. We got all of it going. But let's be right back with another duel. All right. So it should be our final duel, depending on how long it goes. And we're going up against Aiko, and we're drawing all zombies. This is not good. This is not. That is good then. Never mind. This is good. Uh, what do we want to do? Now we can easily go to the 2500 dude and set up for next turn. And completely obliterate our opponent. Or we could just go the old fancy. Um, you know what? I think I want to obliterate my opponent. I really think I do. I think I do. And I think that's what this might happen. I want to obliterate my opponent. Um... So hopefully he doesn't have anything of the crazy nature to where we get obliterated and then we have to end the we have to end the video on getting obliterated. I don't think a lot of people want to just end with that. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I like getting my ass whooped. I like a good a good fight. Right before this, I was playing some rank matches with my regular deck, and uh, uh, I got uh, I, he literally he opened up he, like he maxied me right, and so I had to go. I had to uh, have to go Rafflesia, and then he goes Twin Twister. I set two. He goes, why did I set before I attack? Uh, this is I deserve it. Whatever this is, I yep, I deserve it. It's cool. I deserve it. I deserve it because I shouldn't have did that. I should I should have attacked. I was gonna set two regardless, so it doesn't matter. Okay, never mind. I I, I guess I didn't deserve it. Um, Please don't extend. Come on, Echo. No. Why would you extend, Echo? Echo, no. No, Echo. Why would you extend, Echo? No, Echo. 
Did we run what's the name? We do run samurai. Um yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's just give him the impression that we I mean the impression that we do have another solitaire in hand, even though we already have three. He's probably gonna quit because this game is completely over. It should still be over. Never mind. No, it should still be over. It shall still be over. Um, I can make him negate my Mizuki. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. Is make him negate my Mizuki. And that's fine. Never mind. He doesn't even have to negate my Mizuki because he did that. Now that is just that is an awful, awful, awful choice to get. But you know what we can also do? But he has that one card in his graveyard. Oh, we can do that, which is amazing. Uh da -da 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 -da. That's how it gotta be out of his graveyard. What does this light one do anyways? Uh or if you activate an effect of the same type, I can negate it. And if I do banish it, now this is. <clears throat> or we can do that, which would be fucking fantastic. Holy shit, we have a great play going on. So we can do this. No! Fuck. That was a fucking mistake. If there ever was one. I have another zombie in the graveyard. Oh my god. That was a mistake. I am so sorry fellas. And gals if you are watching this video. But I fucked completely up. What is this? Does this banish from my hand? Let's say you give it. Wait, let me see. Hold on, tell me. Fusion summon from your hand is fusion materials. If summoning an Eidolon Beast monster, you can also banish from your field and. Damn it. Well, that fucking sucked. Um, I think we're gonna go to this, though. Yeah. I don't think it's gonna banish from my hand. No, it's not. Okay. Uh. Now, let's see what you see what we can do. We can just do this, right? And so what we can do is just we can attack over this. Actually, we attack over this. Wait, what would be more? This would be more damage, right? Yeah. He's going to protect. He should protect. Actually, if he does not protect, let's see what he does. Okay. Yeah. This is the better play. This should be at 25, unless I'm reading something weird. Yeah. Okay. So he's probably going to protect. Right. Yeah. Okay. See. Look. Now we can do this. Actually, no, no, cancel. I don't want to attack. Well, what is? Oh, we're still gonna do a, We're still gonna do a mess load of damage. Still gonna do a mess load of damage. Get out of here, fly. Get out of here. We're trying to record some shit. Um, still gonna do a mess load of damage. Now, this is a mistake by all accounts and purposes. This was a mistake. I wanted one. I should have left it. Uh, if this was in the graveyard, it would have been a lot better play. It would have been a better play. Fuck! No, he has five, too. But he's not going to go into that one. He's going to go into the fucking uh, the one that attacks twice and banishes everything he attacks, I think. If it doesn't get destroyed. Now, if he does kill this, we're, we're in good shape. But, he's probably not. Yep, the three blue eyes for this motherfucker right here. Um, what happens? Is there any player turn required that targets the blue eyes you control? Oh, okay. No! Does my shit not work? Wait a minute. Okay, yes. Yes. No, we fucking lose. We lose. We lose. We fucking lose. That's crazy. We fucking lose. That is good job. Good job, Aiko. We lose. GG man, G fucking G. Because I fucked up. I could have did that play. No, I don't think there's anything I could have did different. Um, no, no, there is. There's a probably. Yeah, I could have did that shit a lot of. I could have did that shit major. I could have did that a lot differently. Um, this is just three blue eyes white dragons. Okay. Um, probably.
probably should have banished that. I don't know. That's probably been a better play. But hey, man, I couldn't. Hey, he had Dragon's Mirror. That I think he top decked it too. But hey, man, good, 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 good game, good game. Uh, yeah, that is it for today. We did a lot better with uh, the mixing of the Eidolons and the Zombies, so that is great. Um, but we did not end up with a victory at the last duel, which sucks. But hey, you know what? If we have to lose, man, this this is hey, there's nothing really you can do about this. Let me see. Yeah, this is an attack three times. A, wait, what? Let me see. You, you can use this. Yeah, you can do this. This is fucking, what, 9,040. That's 13,500 fucking damage. Um, there's nothing really we could have did about that. Uh, probably could have did it differently. But no, I'm just salty because I lost. But yeah, man, that is it for today. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the video, definitely leave a like. Uh, let me know what you think about the deck and the video by leaving a comment. Also, subscribe. I upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 1 p.m. on the dot so you guys get three videos a week and also if you guys can please click an ad to help support the channel uh, and it would help me out very good greatly too so thank you guys for that thank you for watching i will see you guys friday with another video of eidolon zombies